So I recently came across a link to a video. Somebody was using a videotape as a makeshift ribbon controller, using the tape to send a control voltage to their modular gear. You may have seen this, but wondered how it actually works. Apparently, the tape can act as a variable resistor, like those found in potentiometers. I want to know if this thing actually works, and if so, more detail on how this works. I didn't have a videotape, much less one I wanted to cut to pieces, so I went to the local Goodwill and didn't find any Deuce Bigelow or anything of the Rob Schneider oeuvre, but I found the next best thing. I'll take apart the case. Pull the reels and spool some of the leader tape. If it is to act like a variable resistor, it should show a resistance reading on a voltmeter. Very interesting. We may have a shot at this. I'll cut about a two foot strip. So here's what's going on. We'll have a tape and then fix the ends with uh, sticky tape. To one end, we'll apply ground. The other will have 12 volts. Then we'll take a patch cord and touch the strip. Signals going towards the 12 volt end will output a higher voltage. The other end puts out a lower voltage. Let's tape it down, leaving a little bit of the ends exposed. I'll be using alligator clips to apply ground and 12 volts. I'll get that from my modular power using a standard cable. If you're unsure about the pin output standards, refer to the Dopefer website or Muffwiggler. The red stripe should be the minus 12 volts. If you're not sure, use a voltmeter to check. I'll insert a 10 pin header into the cable, so I'll have something to attach the clip leads to. Keep in mind, this is makeshift, just see if it works. You will want something more permanent if you find this useful. Carefully finishing up the 12 volt connection. First, let's see if there is a voltage on the tape. I'll just pick ground from my system. Yes, there are voltages here. I would be okay with this. I'll run my oscillator into a filter and then onto a spring reverb tank. I'll patch one end of the patch cord into my oscillator frequency modulation input and the other end of this cord will be touching the tape ribbon. So yeah, it works. It's actually kind of fun. There it is, a makeshift VHS tape ribbon controller. Thank you for watching, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.